Hi all, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video on the Vauxhall Astra J or Opel Astra J if you want to call it. So what we're going to be doing today or I'm going to at least try and do is the fan belt or the auxiliary belt or aux belt if you want to call it. So let me try and just show you the basic location. There it is down there. It's a belt which drives your alternator and your air conditioning pump and all that kind of good stuff. So the tools we're going to need are used. I'll quickly try and show you them as well. And the parts as well I suppose. So what you need is a screwdriver, mainly flathead screwdriver but having the other one is handy as well. You need a kind of snips or cutters, wire cutters. Uh, mainly to just cut off a few cable ties and stuff not nothing no wiring or anything like that and of course the belt I'm using gates it's called micro V and here's the part number from gates and I'm not sure we'll try and show you the part number of the belt as well when it comes off and you need a 15 millimeter socket and I'm using this ratchet because that's that was the most suitable but ideally you should have a long kind of wrench maybe fan wrench or something which has no play in it and a longer one that's what you need and some cable ties as well and that's about it make sure you have gloves on to remove your air box the first thing I'm gonna do is to remove this hose by loosening this clamp so it shouldn't take too much and then it should come off easily enough like this yeah it's not too bad the next step then I'm going to do is round here to remove this connector so pull the yellow tab and that can be pretty tight let me try to just use the thing for the screwdriver for a bit of leverage and uh, that's that and to I'll try and oh yeah so that's handy the retaining clip as you can see it goes there I thought I had to cut the the cable tie but I'd say you don't need to so just hang it off here nicely tuck it in and then just I suppose separate this out or even like this the next thing is there's a small kind of hose so I'll try and catch it so this small little hose it's gone into it's kind of a vent let's say so it should be able you should be able to pull it out fairly easy I think mine is too loose so I must sort that out so that's that the next step to remove the air box is it's basically held in with kind of a rubber shoes if I was to call it or something there so they're only just sitting in and uh, you should be able to just pull the box out so if I try and gently pull out the box show you there so if I gently just I'm gonna pull out the box like this one side is out and the same on the other side like this and then the for basically where the air gets in there's kind of a rubber shoe thing there as well so you should be able to kind of just wiggle it out like that so there is your air box removed below the air box as you can see there's a good few pulleys and stuff so if i go down and this is the smaller one and then the the smaller smaller one below it so i'll try to point to it just there that's a 15 millimeter bolt so you need to turn it clockwise to leave the tension of the belt so that's what i'm trying to do as i said uh, it's if you can get a kind of proper special wrench for it 15 millimeter that's better but I'm going to just use a socket and uh, a bigger kind of longer ratchet with it so we'll try and show you there that's your 15 millimeter down there that's you want to turn clockwise that you want to turn clockwise and I'm going to just have that on there and I'm going to wiggle it clockwise like this and as you can see 
the I don't know if it's the tensioner actually yeah the tensioner actually goes that way you know towards the cabin once you turn it so the, the thing should be coming off loose so the belt is loose now so I'm just trying to take it out make sure you either draw it out or try to remember where the original position was but uh, there's a few kind of diagrams online so you wouldn't have an issue that way so there's a bigger pulley on the back side or just so basically I'm just going to remove the older belt and try to position the new belt in just to show you the part number of the belt uh, yeah so it's 55566 900 from GM this is actually manufactured by gates as well so that's a good thing that I'm using gates and uh, in here it says 6PK1717 I believe that's uh, gates number it's 1718 on my new one but fingers crossed and we'll see if it's the right one and also uh, my engine is A17 DTS with 130 brake horsepower uh, the, the version of the engine so I hope it makes sense when you're changing yours just try to make sure find the right one for yourself and uh, maybe I'll try to show you here as well that I left this here just with the engine mount let's say so to keep the tensioner in some bit uh, some bit in place just to lock it in place so I'm going to go in with the newer belt now I have the belt in place overall it was an, uh, an easy task if I'm honest but it was just going to be too awkward to show you on the camera so what I did uh, or I would suggest to kind of cover up the the bigger pulley on the left just below this and then try to just work your way around coming up and then at the very end you'll have to go clockwise again on the tensioner again so it gives you a bit of uh, leverage to put the last pulley on whichever it is it doesn't matter really as such so once we have that on make sure everything is in place and all the curves or V's are in place as well and uh, you should be good to go then and for the airbox just go in the reverse steps as you would have done uh, to remove it and I will just cut the video short here just to keep the video as short as I can so all you're doing is putting your hose in these two kind of clamps both sides your connector don't forget the connector for your mass airflow or whichever sensor it is and then your main hose and that should be it thanks very much for watching the video and hopefully we'll see you in some other videos